Quadratorcosaur is a diecast that I was pretty confused about when it first released. Back in 2022, we got a release of the baby Quadratorcosaur for the Color Changers line. And in 2023, when this version released, they accidentally used the artwork for the baby. I was very confused and for a while thought that, oh, they just released the baby and labeled it as Quadratorcosaur. At the time, we also weren't like fully 100% on the whole deluxes being gone and larger cars being singles thing. So I was just kind of confused and thought, yeah, well, the, the adult Quadratorcosaur wouldn't be a single, but uh, lo and behold, here we are. And this is the adult Quadratorcosaur as a single. As you can see, it is quite different from the baby. Maybe not entirely in size, but definitely in shape. Luckily for anyone who, like me, was confused, they corrected the mistake with the artwork for 2024, and now the Quadratorcosaur looks as it should. Anyway, guys, welcome back to the review and to another 2024 Cars Diecast review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Quadratorcosaur, which first released last year. I didn't get my hands on it then. Now, I finally have it. As you can see from the back of the packaging, we've got Rodette Marker, Randy, Gearston Marshall, um, and then these other three down here. I've, I've reviewed all of these cars except Randy and Rodette. Yeah, Mato, Mallory, Adam Rodriguez. Taking a look at so many on the road cars in the past year. Anyway, let's get this guy out of the package. Try not to knock the baby off. He almost fell off the shelf there. And here it is. I gotta say, once again, pretty impressed. They really knocked it out of the park with these dinosaur cars. I feel like the color changers, the baby Quadratorcosaur color changer was incredibly impressive. But um, I, I feel like it just made me less excited for the actual die cast. And I felt that way with a lot of on-the-road releases that got color changers first. But now seeing just how good the die cast looks, like... The baby Quadratorcosaur is nothing in comparison to the diecast of the adult. It does bother me that, you know, the baby is so large. Its proportions are, I was going to say, much different. Yeah, yeah, the proportions are pretty different. I think the most prominent thing is the fact that the horn on the baby is much shorter. But also, like, the wheels are huge here and all that. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think the Quadratorcosaur is honestly a bit too small. I mean, here it is compared to a Mater. Right, I think it's a bit too small. Maybe if we still had deluxes, this this could have been bigger. I just think next to the baby, it does not scale well. The baby is taller than it in some areas, but I think there is a pretty solid way to rationalize this. The baby, as you can tell from the artwork, is very much based on the claymation film that Mater watches uh, in the Dino Park episode. But the adult is based on the statue. This is a picture based on the statue of the Quadratorcosaur. We see, of course, that... Uh, little claymation cartoon made her watches has a very stylized stop motiony art style so i like to think of it as this is the baby as it appears in a different art style hence the big wheels and kind of goofier cartoonier proportions and then this is the adult based on what it would actually look like um you can see i think yeah i was thinking the wheels are so big but i think the small wheels are accurate to the adult quadratorcosaur regardless let's move the baby out of the way i think that's enough comparing for now and yeah this is a pretty impressive release we've got a soft plastic horn as you'd probably expect very soft plastic for the spines here i actually didn't expect that they were a hard plastic on the color changer um yeah very soft and, and malleable and flexible interesting i absolutely love how they pull off the bumpers for these cars where they have the big prehistoric the neanderthal bumper and then just a little mouth on the inside it's coated in rust and some bolts and stuff really like the expression as with all these dinosaur cars it just looks bored it looks like it's just minding its business driving around eating you know moving on to the side we've got the wheels which like all these caveman cars or dinosaur cars are really really well done really look like stones or rocks or whatever we've got this sort of three-part shell on the back i love how even a dinosaur car still has a door for the humans that don't exist and can't drive them very unique color scheme all throughout you guys know i always compliment the rust detailing and weathering detailing on thailand cars and this is no exception this is some really really impressive paintwork even some really great looking corrosion down here which again is is accurate really really nice looking we've got the tail here made up of more of these big plate pieces these cars must have been so fun to design 
If you saw my West Philanthropus review, I complained that I felt like the design was a bit too much of a, a van with car parts added, and I said I definitely prefer the Quadratorcosaur design, and I think that opinion certainly still holds up for me. The thing with the Quadratorcosaur is that, to me, this looks like a dinosaur car. To me, the West Philanthropus looks like there's too much car and too little dinosaur, but the Quadratorcosaur, I think, really strikes that balance of looking like a dinosaur that's also a vehicle. I think it does that exceptionally well. Now, finally, there's a look at the base. Wow, really interesting assembly for this one. And yeah, just in case you were wondering, the back half is fully metal here, as is the front. This is a pretty heavy item. So there you have it, guys. The Quadratorcosaur. Certainly a very nice item. Of course, we're getting no new dinosaurs this year. I'm really hoping we get the Crankleosaurus at some point. That's definitely my personal favorite um, dinosaur design in Cars on the Road. I'd also love to see that, like, Semi truck, the Mecha Termina tops, or whatever it was called. I think I got that right. Saying these dinosaur names, man, it, it gets pretty difficult. I'm already dreading having to type Quadratorcosaur uh, for the title of this video. My computer has accepted Quadratorcosaur and no longer underlines it for autocorrect because of how many times I've had to write it for videos. It's kind of ridiculous. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.